Rudy Giuliani now has confirmed that he's joined Trump's legal team to negotiate the end of special counsel Bob Mueller's probe. Good luck. Rudy apparently is looking to use his personal relationship with Mueller to smooth things over. Okay. Well, joining us now is someone who also knows Bob Mueller, former Attorney General Mike Mukasey, who held that position when Mueller was FBI director. Uh, General Mukasey, uh, Judge Mukasey, God, you're on radio with me this morning, and now you're on TV with me tonight. This is like we're spending the whole day together. I love it. That's fine. Uh, me too. That's, that's great. Judge, let's talk about uh, this wild day. Now we have a criminal uh, I mean, investigation uh, going on at the IG, a criminal referral of Andrew McCabe, who was, who was, of course, Comey's deputy. But now the inspector general is investigating whether Comey knew that some of this information was classified when he transmitted it to his pal at Columbia. Yeah, I think we ought to uh, put to rest something that one of your guests said on the last segment about how, well, the memos weren't marked classified at the time. They were classified as soon as he wrote them. I had an experience when I started as AG of taking notes at a meeting on a, on a top secret uh, procedure. And when I got up to leave the meeting, my then chief of staff leaned over and wrote in big block letters at the top, TS slash SCI, meaning top secret secure compartmentalized information. In other words, those weren't my notes. Those were the government's notes. And those weren't Mr. Comey's memos. They were the government's memos. And the information in them, if it was classified, was classified as soon as he put it down on paper. Well, Judge, he said it, they were personal reflections. And they were personal thoughts and reflections on the meeting that he had with the president. Personal thoughts and reflections are fine. But if they are personal thoughts and reflections about classified information, then they are classified personal <laughs> thoughts and reflections. And you can't simply take them out and leak them. Judge Mukasey, you um, were attorney general when Bob Mueller was FBI director. And tell us a little bit about him. I know you had daily briefs with him. You met at the White House with others with him on a weekly basis at least. What was he like? Um, that's an excellent question. The trouble is I'm not in much of a position to answer it because although there were many people that I met with less frequently than I met with him, um, I really have very little in the way of insight into what he's like as a person. Um, I didn't get to see that. Um, you'll notice that he always wears buttoned-down white shirts. Well, he's very buttoned-down and buttoned-up, and um, it's very hard to get a take on him as a person if he doesn't want to give it to you, and he apparently didn't want to give it to me. Now, did, when you had one-on-one -on -one conversations with him, did he seem like a you know, straight up kind of guy, like a, you know, he was, he was, because you were his boss. I mean, people forget the attorney general is the boss of the FBI director. We think of the FBI director as an autonomous person, but you're his, you were his boss. And then, of course, President Bush was, you know, his ultimate right. boss. Yeah, nominally, I was his boss. Um, there were situations in which he performed superbly I've, in, in helping to try to convert the FBI from simply a crime solving. Uh, organization into an intelligence gathering organization. That was a tough sell to a lot of people, and we had to put in place um, guidelines that, are, that I, along with others at the department, drafted and gave to him, and he helped put them in place and did a superb job at it. However, when there were questions of some policy questions uh, where I questioned him about things that the FBI was doing, he pushed back. And um, he was somebody who was very devoted to defending uh, the interests of the Bureau. Um, there was a saying at the FBI, never embarrass the Bureau. And it's a bureaucratic saying, and they call it the Federal Bureau of Investigation for a good reason. It's a bureaucracy. Now, and now he is it, defended it. So were, were these disputes about, you know, uh, the way he was handling certain types of investigations or I'm not going to get into. I'm not going to get into what it was about. Darn. Um, but there was pushback. Um, in the interest of defending what the FBI was doing. Who was his deputy back then? I can't remember who it was. Who was it? You can't okay. remember. Right. You, I can't remember his deputy. I was like, it was obviously not, it wasn't Andrew McCabe, so I can't. No, it was not Andrew McCabe, that I can no. tell you. Uh, and Judge, uh, as we close this out, uh, at the end of this week, where Jim Comey has been on this book tour that seems like it's been going on for months, but it's only really been going on for a few days, 
Do you agree that the damage to the bureau uh, is somewhat significant, given the fact that he led this uh, this agency, and now he's you know clearly strafing yeah. the president and everyone close to him? Regrettably, I think the damage um, is enormous because the head of the organization becomes the the figurehead that everybody looks to to, to judge how the organization performs, and his handling in particular. Everybody's got their own favorite uh, issue. Mine is with his handling of the of the Clinton email investigation um, was an outrageous performance. Um, President Obama was sending messages and receiving messages on Hillary Clinton's private email server. Jim Comey knew that, and when President Clint Obama went on television and said, there's no issue here, she doesn't really intend to cause harm, what he was saying, in essence, is you better let her off, because if you wind up accusing her, you wind up accusing me. And Comey followed that lead. And it's a, the, the notion that this was somehow something that he had to do for the welfare of the country is a lot of disingenuous claptrap. Uh, Judge Mukasey, I love the word claptrap. It's an underused word, and it's one of my favorites. So of course you use it. Judge, thank you so much.